Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will focus on the rate of return analysis. In this video, we will run through a problem for rate of return analysis. The topic of rate of return analysis falls under the main category of engineering economics. Equations, symbols, tables, and information on the various topics covered in engineering economics can be referenced on pages 114 through 120 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, 8th edition, 2nd revision. So let's run through a problem. An engineering firm will place a million dollars into an investment that will yield $100,000 annually for 30 years. The rate of return on this investment is most close to, here's the solution. The goal is to determine what the rate of return over the 30 year period will be for the firm. The rate of return can be determined by setting the equivalent uniform annual benefits against the equivalent uniform annual costs and solving for the interest rate that will make them equal. A short explanation of the rate of return can be referenced on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. We can determine the rate of return in one of two ways, either by using the capital recovery formula found in the table on page 114 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, or by using the functional notation version of the equation and referencing the compound interest table starting on page 116 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. As engineering economic problems get more complicated, it is best to get comfortable using the functional notation version of the equations and referencing the compound interest tables as it will lead to a much more efficient use of your time. The capital recovery formula written in functional notation for the, a uniform amount per interest period is A equal P times A over P I N where the term A over P I N can be defined using the given values for interest and the period and the compound interest table starting on page 116 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. The problem statement defines the period, N, but it is the goal to determine the interest rate, I. A different approach must be taken compared to the other problems that have been worked to determine what the interest rate or rate of return will be. So the rate of return of an investment is the interest rate that makes the following true. Equivalent uniform annual cost equal equivalent uniform annual benefits. Now the equivalent uniform annual cost, or I'll call it EUAC, of this problem is P times A over P I N, and the EUAB, which is the benefit for this problem, is $100,000. Now setting these two values against each other, we get $1 million times A over P I N is equal to 100,000. So we have A over P I N equal to 0 0.10 when we rearrange and solve for that factor. And we also have a period of 30 years. So referencing the compound interest table starting on page 118 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, Relocate the period n equal 30, which is the far left column, and work our way horizontally to the a over p column in each table to determine which one has the value of 0 0.10. Doing this, it is determined that the closest interest rate is 10%. So the rate of return for this investment is 10%. Well, that's it for this video. Do you know anybody that would benefit from this lesson? 
If so, let's try to reach out and help others by sharing this video with them. Also, take a second to like this video and leave a comment and tell me how it will help you move forward in your goal of becoming a professional engineer. And finally, type in engineerintrainingexam.com into your URL bar and visit the site to download for free the transcript to this video along with the example problem and solution we worked. While you are there, you can also sign up for the free EIT Academy Bootcamp. 137 pages and over 50 practice problems and solutions to get you on track to passing this exam.